Hey guys, today we have a really exciting unboxing from thecubicle.com. So we have a YJ Yuhu V2M Mega Minx and a cubicle hoodie, which is really excited, which I'm really excited for. So I'm gonna get into the hoodie first and then I'll get into the cube later. So the hoodie is a blackish grayish color and it has um, a cubicle logo here and it's kind of like a hard sandy material, I don't know how to describe it. And then on the back it says the cubicle, can't really show you but yeah it says the cubicle and um, so I guess I'll just put this on. And right off the bat, it feels really soft and nice, so I'll just put this on off camera and then I'll show you guys, I guess. Okay, so I just put on the hoodie and it's really soft and really nice. Uh, the sleeves are kind of long. Like If I extend them all the way, my hands are not able to come out, only my fingers, but I can just pull them back and eventually I'll grow into them. And um, it has two pockets here, and it has the cubicle logo here, and um, it says the cubicle on the back in white letters. And um, it's actually not as long as it would, as I thought it would be. I thought it would go like down to here, but it's actually not too bad. And yeah. There's like, there you can strings here so you can tie in or loosen the hood. And yeah, let's just unbox the U. Okay, and now we can get on to the YJ Yuhu V2M Megaminx. So I heard that out of the box it's pretty loose. So I might tie in this after a little bit. So it comes in this um, plastic wrap. Um, and it also comes with some kind of instruction manual for the Megaminx, and just, and that's it. And the box is pretty nice, it has like bumps for all the pieces. And here's the cube. Okay, it feels really different than I expected. I didn't know it had a uh, glossy plastic, I thought it had frosted, but I guess it has glossy. And yeah, the shades are actually really vibrant. And we just get on to first turns. Okay, so it's very sandy out of the box. Kind of feels like most a lot of cubes. It kind of feels like I, I don't know how to describe it. Feels like kind of feels like that Alsu WRM out of the box a little bit. It has like that sandy dry feel that's like still usable. Okay, this feels really nice. Uh, I already told you how it felt. It seems like corner cutting is pretty good when I'm turning. Let me just test it. So it doesn't really corner cut here. So it corner cuts about to the 45 degree line. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, so... I, I don't think anyone really corner cuts 45 degrees on a Mega Minx though. And we just test some other sides. It is slightly luby on the outside, actually, even though it's pretty dry. So this side's corner cutting seems better than the one I just tested. So the tensions are a little bit uneven. I mean, I just corner twisted. So corner twists are pretty easy to do on this puzzle. So I'll just get my Gan Megaminx, and yeah, so one thing I noticed is that the YJ, the Yuhu is a lot bigger. Like, if you put them together, yeah, the Yuhu is, like, quite a bit bigger. Um, I, th I think that this is a better size than again. It's, like, so much easier to turn because the layers are bigger. And the Gan is, has better corner cutting. It can, like, corner cut a bunch of places. 
Well, kind of. Well, um, yeah, I'll just do a solve. And the grip is actually pretty good, and I think the ridges really help with grip here. This design of ridges. And yeah, um, I'll, I'll do some solves, and I might make a small review of this cube in the video, or I might make a separate video. So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this when I was unboxing it, but like, this is actually not loose at all. Like, for my standards, this is pretty average. Like, if I pull on it, it's like this. Pull on my Gan Megaminx, it's gonna pop like that, so... <laughs> I guess either my Gan Megaminx is really loose, uh, like, compared to what Megaminx are, are supposed to be, or it's just that my Yuvu came tight or something like that. I don't really know, but yeah.